what's going on guys on the Gaming VOD channel, my name is Stephen, but you may know me as Infusion and today I'm bringing you another gameplay commentary. The gameplay in the background is an MP11 DNA bomb by Vert, he go, he's doing this on terrorist domination, playing some ground war as well. Um, so what I want to talk about in this commentary is a bit of an extension to what I talked about in the video which went on, uh, went up on the channel yesterday. Yesterday I did talk about technology and society. If you did not catch that, make sure you do go check out that commentary as it was a very good one in my opinion. So what I want to talk about is social predatory. If you don't know what this is, this is where grown men is up to 40. Maybe even older, go out and prey on young girls as young as 9 years old. The reason I want to talk about this is I did a video on this on my channel a couple of weeks back and it got some very, very good feedback. And it's something that I see a lot in this day and age of like the way society is run through technology. So it's coming up to Christmas now and everybody's getting their Christmas presents and the majority of things on kids wish list, wish list this year and this is for kids as young as 9 is the new iPhone 6. Did not know it's common for kids as young as 8, 9, maybe even 6 year olds to have an iPhone 6. Which in my opinion is stupid because I didn't get my first phone until I was 10 years old and it was a Nokia. Um, it was a little brick and all I could do is text and call my mum as I didn't live my mum at the time and she wanted some way for me to get in touch with her. And I thought that phone was amazing. Now there's kids is that age who see that phone as terrible and will complain to their parents because they want an iPhone 6. So, social predatory is where someone who's in their 40s will go on to social media, i.e. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, anything like that, and talk up little girls. So basically, there was a story not too long ago near me, I did mention this in my video, um, where somebody and um, try to pre predatorize a young girl. They try to groom her is what the proper term is called. Grooming is where basically someone speaks to a young girl and tries to get pictures and stuff like that often. There was also a story that I read the other day um, in America where a 30 year old man was coercing young girls into sending them pictures over Snapchat. And the reason is, is they seem to get kicks off it. And I find this disgusting. I, I don't understand it. And there is so many things wrong with social predatory. And it's such the norm now for people to see it online because we allow our kids um, to go out there and post horrible pictures, pictures which the, only their parents should be posting on pay, on sites like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all of this. And then men are creating, and sometimes even women in their 40s, 30s are making Facebooks, fake Facebook pretending to be these 13 year old kids and actually chatting to these kids. And then these kids are easily persuaded to send pictures or run away and meet them. And there has been so many stories about it where girls as young as nine years old have run away from home to go and meet these men who are pretending to be 13 year old boys. And they have actually gone off, ran away from home obviously, and gone to meet these guys at places like the local, po uh, the local pool or at like the library or in the town or something. And these girls don't see anything wrong with it. Whereas we as the, like, us as the older generation, I'm only 17, but I find this horrible. Like, I see it as, my sister's 14 right now, and I keep more of an eye on her than and most 17 year old lads would. I check up on her Facebook daily, I check on any social media she has, I check up on her Facebook, her Instagram, and also her old YouTube channel, which I had, sadly had to make a shutdown due to um, people posting fucked up comments on the. Um, uh, which used to do vlogs and you were posting fucked up comments and stuff like that. I don't see it, but social predatory is so common nowadays that most of us don't know how to protect ourselves from it. Sorry about that, I just did knock my mic. So, if any of you do get, if any of you are getting groomed or somebody who you think should not be talking to you is talking to you, the best thing for you to do is contact your parents or your guardian or something and speak to them and make sure that they know that somebody is trying to speak to you who shouldn't be. Also contact the police, uh, anyone at your school or anything, and tell them about it. Um, so I know this isn't probably what you want to hear from a commentary topic over a COD game, but it's something that I felt like you guys needed to hear about is with Christmas coming up, so many little kids are going to be getting iPhones and um, Samsungs and all these smartphones and it's so hard for the parents to protect them so if you do see anybody who you know like on Facebook or on Instagram or something who is like under the age of about 16 and they are posting photos which you find are inappropriate for someone of that age I do recommend that you do report it 
I know it sounds like a dick thing to do, but I tend to do it quite a lot with people I have on Facebook. I have my 12-year-old um, cousin on Facebook, and I also have her mum on Facebook, so I con I'm constantly messaging her mum, telling her to tell it, take these pictures down. And also, I have a lot of other friends who do it. And with the way society is now, we see it as being okay, but you've got to think about it this way. There is people out there in their 40s who are trying to get pictures of girls, like, in not normal positions and it's fucked up. Also another story quickly is a couple of years back a French lingerie company started selling lingerie for kids as young as 14 years old and um, from the ages of 9 to 14 and that is another thing as well. Stuff like that is what social predators prey off. So if you do see anything like this, make sure you do report it and make sure you do look out for your friends and family. If you do have a little sister, make sure you do look out for her. She isn't posting pictures which she shouldn't be online. Because one of these days, you don't know, someone might try and prey on your little sister. You may see it as it not being such a common thing, but it does happen. Right there, he did just get a DNA bomb. So I am actually going to wrap this commentary up here. He does call it in now, so I hope you did enjoy it. So if this is not the type of comment or topic that you wanted to hear an apology video, but it's just something as an add-on to my last video that I did and I thought it needed to be spoken about as social predatory is such a common thing these days so if you did enjoy please do leave a like and subscribe also check out gaming pod stream is I did say it around last time it's www.twitch.tv slash gaming pods so thanks for watching uh, if you did enjoy again please do leave a like comment subscribe and goodbye for now